This is the Dayton Ultimax. As you see, I already opened it. I just was too excited. It came together with the Monaco sam 300D amplifier together in this uh, sound imports box. So let's open it. A nice thick cotton. And there it is. Nothing else in the box. Look at this. It's a very beautiful sub. It's dual voice core, 2 ohms per voice core. It has a very thick surround. And it's well, pretty stiff. The magnets also very fit, very fit. If you compare it to a um, Another 10 inch sub. This is very soft and this is very, very stiff. So, overall, design wise, a very nice sub. Here's the same 300 Monaco. Sadly, it doesn't work now because um, it came with a broken fuse. So I couldn't try it out yet. The fuse was complete, completely black. Yeah. So this is a Dayton Ultimax 10. I modeled it in SolidWorks. Here we have the enclosure. It's 72 liters. And there's the Ultimax in it, the port and the cutout for the amplifier let's cut through the enclosure so you can see what's inside so there you can see the port channel it's pretty long for i tuned it pretty deep there you can see the bracing so that's the program where i designed the ultimax enclosure it's called Win ISD. As you can see, I, it's 72 liters and tuned to 25 hertz. The port is 12 inch by 2 inch and it's about 1 meter long. As you can see, the peak is about 27 hertz. The F3 is about 21 hertz. And the F6 is about 20 hertz. According to WinISD, our port velocity is about 16 meters per second, which is under 18, so that's pretty good. Also, we should get about 110 decibels at 27 Hz. Under 20 Hz, we should hit the X max, but the Monaco sam 300 d has a built-in subsonic filter, so we are completely fine. For my plates, um, I got them pre-cut because I sadly don't have a table saw. Otherwise, I would have cut them myself. And they're all my plans.
looks good. As you can see, I also put in some screws. Um, you should always put screws in big enclosures like that.
Great responsibility. <laughs> 